Welcome back to the update. We featured Greg Kelser's camps on our show last week. We had to have you back and feature him more because you just do it the right way. And we will get into that in a minute. But we got you here. We got to get your expertise on the Pistons draft. I just talked to Stoney about it. Andre Drummond, the name. Give me your insight and uh, thoughts on the pick. Well, I'm very excited about the possibilities. First of all, the Pistons now have a true big man at 6'11", 280 pounds. Who knows? He may still be growing because he's only 18 years old. Um, Clearly, I think he's excited to be here, but this is a good team for Drummond because being so young, he's going to need uh, guidance. And he'll get that from Joe Dumars. He'll get it from Lawrence Frank. He'll get it from a lot of the players that are in place with the Pistons. So all of that will serve him well as he makes this colossal transition. He talked with Tom Lyon just moments after getting drafted and said, my favorite players are Dwight Howard, Shaquille O'Neal. And I asked him, I said, do you realize you're going to go up against guys like Dwight Howard? It'll be a learning process for him, won't it? You know, every player that comes in the league, trust me, has patterned himself after someone. When I came into the league many years ago, it was Dr. J, and I had a chance to meet him right after uh, we won our championship at Michigan State. Spent a weekend at his house. He was great. And then a few months later, I'm in the NBA trying to compete against him, and there were no friendships at that point. Uh, so every guy that comes in will find themselves playing against someone they admired, and they'll also find that uh, friendships do go out the window. How tough is it for a guy who's just 18 with just one year? And he says it's a business, but he really hasn't learned that because it was just college for a year. You had more experience. Yeah. How much of a learning curve is he going to have to have? Well, it's a huge learning uh, curve because there is no greater jump than the one he's about to make. I mean, you go from different levels. You go from middle school to high school. That's sizable. You go from high school to college. That's a little bigger. But there is no bigger jump than the one he is, uh, that he is embarking on now. And that's why I say he's not only going to need guidance, but... You know, there'll be patience necessary. He's going to have his ups and downs. Uh, hopefully he'll mature quickly. Um, this, is the, this is as good as it gets. This is the, be the best league in the world, but I think that he has the tools and the athleticism and hopefully the desire to want to be as, as, as one of the best. Well, all of those qualities are taught when you are young. You're providing that for students and young athletes in this area a lot. Tell us about the camps that are still going on and are coming up now, the Greg Kelser camps, as I like to say, an annual ritual here in, in yeah. Metro Detroit. Yeah, our, our camps have become a staple, and I'll rattle them off very quickly here. We're at Lavonia Franklin High School starting July 9th to the 13th, and then we go to Southfield High School July 16th through the 20th, and then Gross Point North High School the 23rd of July to the 27th. All of that information is at my website, GregoryKelser.com. There's a phone number, 248-342-2735. It's boys and girls, Brad, ages 7 to 17. We really emphasize basketball, the fundamentals of the game. We do a lot of teaching, but we let the kids play their games in the afternoon and, and get the semblance of, of, of what it means to be a team and, be, and, and work on teamwork. Uh, but we also do a lot of uh, rapping, as we call it, our rap sessions emphasizing the importance of education. Our camp that you attended at Cass Tech, you saw a heavy dose of, of, uh, of classroom activity. Yeah. Well, we don't have the classroom activity, but we still have the, the major, major component that education is, is essential and you have to have it. We preach it every day. Something you told me last week was when you go down the road and you see some of these young campers at the time, now yeah. 15, 20 years later, and they come up to you and say, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a father, I'm a mother now, and I remember attending your camp. That helped who I am today. Do you see that gleam in their eye when, when you're with them now that, okay, maybe this, I'm really making this impact when you're with them out there? You know, that's the fun part. That's the thrill of it. Years and years later, uh, seeing the success stories and, and knowing that in some small way, I mean, I don't, we don't take a lot of credit, but we, you know, every day you get a chance to impact someone. I think when you're an adult and you have access to, to young people. So we don't take that responsibility lightly. And uh, for them to come back and say, hey, during the week I spent at your camp, many of them are repeaters yeah. but you know during a certain week that I spent at your camp you said this or you did this and it changed my way of thinking it caused me to do things a little differently it made a difference we love that keep doing it the right way all right thank, thank you, you so much for joining all us all right my pleasure